Since you've been training for a few weeks now, a pretty tough session today. Uh, yeah, sun's out, um, high humidity. Um, I don't even know what the time is, but I think we've been out here around three hours, so probably the biggest one so far. How have you found that? Like, it's obviously a different climate from Melbourne. How have you adjusted? Yeah, yeah, my pale skin, dark hair is really um, taking a while to adapt. Um, each session getting better, but um, it's going to take a little while to get used to. And how have you found the environment in, in general? Like you've come to a new club, you've been at the dogs for seven or eight years, and now a new club out to settle in. Yeah, it's been a good transition actually. Um, obviously nervous um, as a new guy coming in, um, but it's a very young group, and all the young guys are very, you know, excited and um, excited to have a new a new guy around. So they've been very welcoming so far, and I'm um, enjoying my time here. Can you tell us about how it unfolded that you got to the club? Because it all seemed to sort of happen in a bit of a hurry from the outside. Uh, yeah, obviously um, the Bulldogs were undecided on whether they wanted to continue with me down there, um, and and Luke obviously let me know around. Um, Geez, it would have been mid-October, I think, um, just before the final list um, announcements had to be made. So um, they were very, they let me know, um, and yeah, received a call from from Rocket pretty soon after, and he was keen to reunite things, and um, yeah, just happy to be here. You have worked with Rocket obviously for a few years. Can you tell us a bit about your relationship? And yeah, my first three years, so I was a young guy coming in, and um, I played in our last prelim at, at the Bulldogs. So um, he showed a lot of faith in me as a young guy, and. Um, gave me a lot of confidence to play the game, so I'm um, looking forward to, to playing under him again. Obviously a bit older and wiser, so I'm um, hoping to pass some of my wisdom on to the younger group. How do you reflect on your time with the dogs? Um, oh, I've got nothing against any of the players. The coaches really enjoyed the place. Um, I've, got, I've got no bad words about anyone there. Obviously disappointing to not stay at a one club, but um, these days guys are switching clubs all the time. So. I'm um, just excited to continue my AFL journey, um, hopefully here for at least another five years. What was your perception of the Suns when you were with the Bulldogs like before you came here? I guess what was your perception of the club? Um, obviously a new club, so um, similar to GWS, a young list, um, like I said previously. Um, a lot of exciting players, a lot of high draft picks and whatnot. Um, last year's a hard one to you know get your head around. There's a lot of players off the park injured that have a big influence on the way that these guys play. So. Um, I do see this, this club similar this year to, to what the Bulldogs did last year. I think they can make a rise quickly up the ladder with, with everyone on the park. How do you think you fit in or what is Ross projected to you as to how you're going to Yeah, obviously you played um, a lot of wing last year um, and Rocket wants me to play forward here. So um, probably a high half forward, um, third tall, um, probably something that they don't have and, and they're seeking me to play that role. Something you think you're comfortable with because that is a pretty clear gap. Um, yeah, it's obviously Jackie Martin's tried to play that role a little bit, but he's obviously a, a second year coming into third year player, so it's tough to ask someone of his calibre and age to, to play that role. So hopefully I can work with him and help him, and also tie him with, with the big fellas, uh, Lynchy, Sammy Day, and, and Petey Wright. And who's, who's impressed you, mate? Just from a, a, everyone's new to you, I guess, apart from Rocket and, and the fitness coach, obviously, but who, who's impressed you on the list? Um, probably, probably Stephen May on track. Um, he's pretty demanding of his teammates. Something that obviously, from an outsider, not knowing how they train and who's the vocal guys, um, Steve likes to talk up a lot and, and demand a fair bit of his um, teammates, which is encouraging from a young guy and something that they, they need to drive.